everyone! Welcome back to our channel and welcome to the part 3 ng ating do-it-yourself solar installation. Just a quick update, it has been 11 days when we first commissioned our solar system with the battery. With just a minor tweak in the isolator switch in our DC box, everything is good and working. Hindi ko na masyadong i-explain what happened to the isolator switch because this part 3 is all about costing. So let's get into it! So first, let me break it down into five categories. First is the solar panel and hybrid inverter. Second is the safety devices. Third is the battery. Fourth is the tools, peripherals, and others. Five is the services and labor. For our first category, halos lahat ng mga materials listed here ay nasa ating part 1. First in our list, we use 12 pieces of 555 watts na Jinko brand ng monocrystalline na panel. Upon checking our distributor's FB page, it is now on sale for only 4,680. But we got it for 5,000 inch and it cost us 60,000. And for one piece, a Solis S6 6 kilowatt hybrid inverter. It is 50,000. And to connect our panels to the inverter to the safety devices, we use 30 meters long na PV wire twin core na may sukat na 6 millimeters amounting to 6,180. Naglagay din tayo ng 2 pieces, 1,000 volts, 32 ampere, Sun 3 brand, the DC isolator sweep. It is 3,500. For the 12 pieces of railings with 2.5 meters long, it is 8,400. We connected all the railings using the 8 pieces rail splice and that is 880. To hold the rails, we use metal bracket that is 34 pieces and that is 2,040. To hold the panels together, we use 12 pieces mid clamp with 35 millimeter size and that is 600 pesos. For the end clamps, that is 1,200. 16 pieces of lightning shield is 560. Gumamit din tayo ng 6 pieces MC4 sa ating isolator switch and that is 210. 300 pesos for the 2 pieces of elastic seal. And for our connector rectaflex, ito yung um, ito yung hose na may metal inside. We use 30 meters for the 25 mm size, and that is 1,560. The other one is 1,320 dun sa 16 mm size. And to hold our connector rectap, we use 15 pieces U clamp, that is 525, and head clamp, that is also 525. So, that is all for our first category. Kung meron man akong nakaligtaan, siguro hindi yan lalampas ng mga 1,000. So, for our solar panel and hybrid inverter, we spent a total of 137,800. safety devices. If you haven't seen the part 2, halos lahat ng mga materials na nakalista dito ay makikita nyo doon.
devices, the total is 20,563. category is the battery. The list is very short. We only have five items. The first on the list is our Dynas battery. We got two pieces, 39,500 each, a total of 79,000. The next is our direct current MCCB 168 ampere and that is 2,600. We also use black and red battery cable. Ang size niya is 25mm squared. It is 1,224 inch. The last one is the terminal lugs na may sukat na 35mm squared. And that is 1,440. And for the battery category, the total is 85,488. the total amount ng aming dinastos para sa project na ito. Sa mga magtatanong sa namin binili ang lahat ng materials na ito, binili namin siya sa distributor na Ian Solon. Ang details nila ay ilalagay ko sa description ng ating video. May mga items na hindi available sa kanila, so binili namin sila from Lazada and Shopee. Pero naman yung maliliit na items like yung bulbs, yung screws, even the grounding rod, binili namin siya from the hardware store na malapit sa aming bahay. While I'm doing this list, na-realize ko meron talagang mga items na mas mura sa Shopee and Lazada. Pero nasa sa inyo na yon kung saan nyo prefer bumili ng inong materya. If planning nyo na gumawa ng DIY project like this, importante po na gumawa ng listahan. If possible, gumawa ng drawing or diagram, ilagay ang sukan para walang sasobra sa mga materials na ating bibili. So that is the end of our part 3. Thank you so much for watching. The next possible question is, is it worth it? Worth it ba ang ganitong kalaking amount? 
Just to have a solar system in your home. Let us all find out in our next video sa ating part 4. So again, thank you so much and see you in our next video.